Happy, happy year of the rabbit, all you sneakerheads out there. And I was actually quite surprised to see how many Nike Dunk Low Year of the Rabbit exclusives that Nike is going to be releasing this year for all of us. I was surprised to hear that we're going to see a total of four Dunk silhouettes in various colors to go and pay homage to the Year of the Rabbit Zodiac sign for Lunar New Year, which is right up the corner. We also have an upcoming Air Jordan 1 Low silhouette that I will be taking a closer look at very, very shortly in a future video. But the latest white Nike Dunk Low Year of the Rabbit has just dropped recently, so I wanted to take a look at that as well as the other colorways that are set to release. But first, with all that being said, Said, here's a message from our sponsor IP Royal. Now here's the thing, if you bought sneakers, chances are you're not using the full potential that your bot is capable of. To do so, you need a proxy to protect your IP address, otherwise online retailers are ruthless and they'll ban you for life from copying on future drops, which is why I partnered with IP Royal, one of the best places to buy residential proxies to mask your IP address and ensure that you stay safe while securing the bag, copying the latest and greatest in sneakers. IP Royal's residential proxies come from real devices with a real ISP issued connections, meaning that you become indistinguishable from other manual shoppers. Proxies are a must to ensure online safety out there, so sign up with my link in the description and hit up their website to purchase the proxies. And of course, you know how I look out for you all. Use code JOSH50 for 50% off their residential proxies to stay protected today. This deal won't last long, so make sure to check it out now. And with all that being said, let's go and check out these sneakers. Now, the Nike Dunk Low Year of the Rabbits released just a couple of days ago for a retail price of 110 USD, coming in this nice white silhouette with the various color accents that mimic, that actually mimic a past Year of the Rabbit Air Force One that released back in the previous reign of the Year of the Rabbit, which was 2011. Currently, that sneaker is going for around $2,000 on StockX, whereas the sales aren't really that consistent, so it ranges from around two to 4,000. This sneaker features some various designs and design element choices, which make this a quality sneaker to purchase. If you are born in the Year of the Rabbit, I would honestly recommend buying the sneaker just for the aesthetics just because of how detailed the quality is. The orange and blue swooshes are in this nice fur-like material to mimic the fur of a rabbit and as well as the color schemes in a light white and beige combo for the panels of the sneaker. Now of course this is a great colorway but the ones I see performing the best on the resale market are going to be the mocha colors that have released recently. Those seem to be flying off the resale markets averaging a price of around 4 150 Australian dollars. These sneakers on the other hand, the ones that just dropped recently, are sitting at a more humble and measly $230, which is a nice around a rough 50% increase from the retail price. Uh, of course, if we're talking Australian dollars, these retail for around 180 to 190 Australian dollars. So for them to be reaching prices of around 270, it does seem like these are going to be good on the resale price and the market, but I don't think that these will increase much further as the months go on. These m might very well plateau at around about 300 Australian dollars, whereas the Mocha Dunks might hit a plateau around 450 to 500. I just don't see any more demand of these sneakers going past the year of the rabbit. Maybe when the next cycle comes along, but hey. Uh, who's to say in 12 years time what the resale prices of these sneakers will be. So if you cop these sneakers, I do recommend you selling them right now while the heat is hot, whilst people are celebrating the Lunar New Year festivities. Other than that, if you're, you're going to be having to hold the sneaker for a long time, trying to find a buyer, which could eat into your capital profits or your return on investment and the turnover. But with all that being said, it is a dope sneaker with a dope history. And I do see these, uh, you know, I do see these having a lot of demand for pe either people born in the year of the rabbit or just liking the aesthetics. Let me know what you guys think about the sneaker and I'll see you in another video. Take care and peace out.